Number seven, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And what is the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter D. So in this case, we just need to find the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of NH3. If you can find both conjugate acid and conjugate base, that means that this molecule can act as either an acid or a base. It's amphoteric. If it's acting as an acid, you can find the conjugate base. And if it's acting as a base, you could find the conjugate acid. So let's just split this down the middle and find each. So we'll work with this first on this side. So I'm going to say, OK, NH3, which is ammonia, right? This is going to be acting as the acid for some reason or another. Let's just find out what that conjugate base E is. And the word conjugate in chemistry just means like corresponding with acids and bases. A conjugate will always have one more hydrogen or one less hydrogen, but that's the only difference. So in this case, if you're trying to find the conjugate base, all you got to do is just lose one hydrogen. Remember, the base will always have one less hydrogen than the acid. So in the beginning, there was three hydrogens. So all you got to do is just drop this down to a two. So N H two, you lost a hydrogen. And now you just got to make sure that you have the right charge. If you do that, you subtract one from the total charge. But if you look at ammonia, there was no charge in the upper left, uh, upper right hand corner. So that means that it was a zero. So zero minus one, zero minus one is just a negative one. So I could just put a negative here. And this is your conjugate base. I'll just put con base just for short. Now let's find out what that conjugate acid is by treating ammonia as a base. Generally speaking, ammonia will be more of a base than an acid in circumstances. So let's do this. Conjugate acids, acids in general, will always have one more hydrogen. So you got to up the hydrogen number. So there was three. So now I'm bumping this up to a four. So it won't be NH3, it will be NH4. Let's do the charge. If you're going from a base to an acid, now you just got to add a one. We said before that there was a zero charge here. So I come over and I say, okay, I had a zero, but now I plus one. So zero plus one is a plus one. And that's just a plus. And there you go with that one, guys. This would be the conjugate acid. And we should have seen this. This is ammonium, right? That's one of our polyatomics that we learned in the beginning of chem. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Thank you. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.